going to do is your swab kit. Basically what you're given are four big Q-tips. And for each one, you want to gently scrub the inside of your, the back of your cheeks, uh, the back of your mouth about right here, for about five to ten seconds. You want to use the same pressure as if you're brushing your teeth. Because you have four, you want to use two per side. Once you're done, slide them back into their grooves as best you can. And this is what helps us determine whether or not a donor is a match for a patient. Uh, we're encouraging people from the community to become potential donors because at this time there's a severe lack of minority donors in the registry. And because matching is based on ethnicity, we are encouraging people to become part of the registry so patients have a better chance of finding a match when they're searching for their transplant. Eight million in total that are registered and about only 25% is uh, made up of ethnic minority. And that 25% is divided up between Asians, Blacks and Hispanics. So Sherry's my college classmate and we went to dental school together and uh, she was diagnosed in September with leukemia and uh, it's uh, you know been going through the treatment down in Southern California. So she had just gone through a round of chemotherapy and, and now she met with her doctor yesterday and they, they have made a decision that they need to do a transplant next month. And so uh, they're still trying to find a really good match for her. This, could, this disease could happen to anybody at any time in life and so I wanted to do my part to see if we can help her find a suitable donor. Yes, I'm the member of the Fearless Fitness. When we came for the training, see the, the, the information on the board, then, oh, it's a good idea to join to help somebody else. Is this information not well known to the public? Or? Unfortunately, it's not. Um, that's the one thing that we do. Um, one of the challenges that we encounter is that just general awareness and just education as well.